I mean, it's, it's, it's actually quite incredible. You know, we, we have some studies that actually show that, that there are changes in neuronal pathways in the brain that actually result from, from clinical mental health counseling, from going and sitting across from a professional counselor. That is, that's incredible. I mean, our brain's ability to constantly be reacting and adapting to our environment. And, and even the idea that, that there's power in words, you know, those of us who have went through, let's say some really serious trauma and, you know, even counselors have went through a lot of serious trauma. We obviously see clients, you know, one of the things that we know, you know, along those lines, of the brain, there's, there's an area of your brain called Baroka's area. And Baroka's area, it, it, it's largely involved with the spoken word and what we've seen when we've had people kind of hooked up to fMRI machines is when they begin to talk about their trauma, the Broca's area almost goes offline in the brain. It's almost like the brain doesn't even want to hear those words spoken and, and basically shuts itself down. It's, it's and, and, it, yeah, sorry, sorry, go ahead, Trent, but just the power, no, well, of, words, I, the power of words. But 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 the words we speak can change our brain neuropathways yep. and and yep. change our brain's chemistry and and we know so much more about that now than we ever have. But but today we've got the science that backs up what counselors have believed for decades sure. Sure. has been yep. true. So. Yep. Um, 